arts and crafts of India traverse the subcontinent much like a river, touching every aspect of culture and meandering through the fields of human skill. Welcome to the wide expanses of the Himalayas, Jammu and Kashmir, home to the finest craftsmen. Shaping wood into images of nature, weaving the finest silks and wool into carpets and shawls, exquisite patterns made by the Nakash follow the flora and fauna of the land that can also be seen in metalwork, paper mache and jewellery. The 5,000-year-old history of Delhi makes it a mysterious and complex place which is reflected in its crafts. It is a melting pot of pan-India culture and heritage where art and craft blossom in lanes, alleyways, hearts and bazaars. Haryana is where India's Vedic civilization began and matured. From the Punja Dari's exquisite Kudris, carpets, basketry, metalwork, bone craft, leather craft and glasswork to the rustic Sanji wall paintings all reflect the rich and vibrant history of this abundant land. Land of the five rivers and the cradle of civilization and faith is Punjab. This vibrant land produces the most exquisite jewellery, leatherwork, chattas, shawls and the traditional Fulkari embroidery as vivid and colourful as nature itself. Nestled in the Terai region with breathtaking views of the central Himalayas are Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, also known as Dev Bhumi, the sacred land of temples and deities. The art forms of Pit, Pat and Ipan are steeped in religion, producing a unique array of wall paintings and decorations. This region is most famous for silver jewellery, chamba romals, pahari miniature paintings and metalwork. Angora full weaving and block printing along with copper, stone and woodwork produce fine specimens of craft. Uttar Pradesh This land of sages and saints is home to many important religious and historical cities. Craft here is defined by brilliant inlays in stone, leather, metal and brasswork along with elegant filigree and kundan jewellery. Savar, the zartosi, chicken curry, chamdani and tanchoi, silk weaving and embroidery at its best. Lush and vibrant with dense forests, rivers, seashores and hundreds of tribes interwoven like its rich textile culture are the eastern states. From Orissa and Bihar come the intricacies of Madhubani and Mithila wall art. Munch baskets, tied sikki household items along with clay toys are made in abundance. Kansa, Dhokra and bronze are fashioned into utensils and whimsical human and animal figures. But Chitra art is a delight to behold. The Aplik work, traditional woven ikkat, pasapalli saris, kantha work and tribal handlooms all take you on a journey of aesthetic revelry. Mask making, mat weaving, bell metal casting and instrument making in West Bengal gives a whiff of skillfulness steeped in centuries of tradition. On to Sikkim and one is taken on a journey of monasteries and traditional dances that show off mask making, bright textiles, lapcha weaves and thangka paintings. The Seven Sister States are a sanctuary to not just the most exotic flora and fauna but also a unique tribal culture that gives us a vibrant fabrics dyed in vegetable colours. Munga silk and many tribal fabrics woven into rich motifs of black and red. The whole area is steeped in the craft of fine and elegant bamboo work. The West is stark but always pulsating. The land of forts and maharajas surrounded by the unrelenting desert underlines art, craft and all life that thrives in this land of romance. From Rajasthan to Gujarat lies a sea of colour, vibrancy and folk art. 
meenakari, kundan and elaborate enameled jewellery are a trademark of this region. Handmade puppets and toys, pottery and stonework are the other end of the spectrum. Lehemia saris, kota sills, brokets, rich mirror work, padni ornis and block printed fabrics give way to pethani saris, khan and himru weaving, handmade tweets, beautiful metalwork and jewellery as we move into Maharashtra. Further on to Goa, we arrive at the land of the graffito. Tile art, pottery and woodwork along with jute craft, flower craft and mosaic work give you an amalgamation of Portuguese influence with Indian aesthetics. Heading towards the Indian Peninsula, you are in for a visual treat that ranks very high on quality and craftsmanship. The influence of religion is everywhere. Temple art is evident in the architecture, sculpture, textiles and paintings. The Chitra folk paintings, exquisite woodwork with ebony, ivory and rosewood inlay work, intricately carved deities and bitri metal work all show a delicacy and precision that is unparalleled. The jewellery is either distinctly tribal or influenced by temple art. Mysore silks, Coimbatore cottons, Kanjivarams, Venkatgiris and Pochampalli Ikkat, the textiles across the whole of southern India are truly exquisite. Crafts for performing arts, beadwork, metal casting, instrument making, pottery, tribal embroidery, dharis and pearl jewellery are all part of the southern magic. Now to the heart of India. Caves, stupas, tribals, women rulers and a history that dates back to 320 BC. Tribal paintings, kodna tattooing, clay and terracotta work, wall decorations, sisal craft, bamboo and natural fibre articles are to be found all along this region. Fera, Bafta and Desi Tassar are woven in Chhattisgarh. It is tied in natural colours and embellished with applique work. Quilts, carpets and floor coverings are also made with the finest lace and embroidery. The ritual art of Charkand and the Jadupatua paintings drawn with earth colours and natural inks are a special sight to behold. Thank <laughs> you.